Sounds look good. Wisdom. All right, another train derailment has led to the evacuation of residents in Minnesota. The accident happened early yesterday morning in the small town of Raymond, roughly 100 miles west of Minneapolis. Several of the cars were carrying ethanol and corn syrup before catching fire. No injuries were reported. BNSF, Railway, and the EPA are monitoring the air quality. The NTSB is investigating the cause of that derailment. President Biden and the First Lady will visit Rolling Fork, Mississippi today. This comes after last week's tornado killed 25 people and injured dozens more in that area. A home and businesses were reduced to, to rubble in one of the poorest regions in the country. President Biden is expected to meet with first responders and state and local officials. Lawmakers are in a heated debate over President Biden's proposed budget for fiscal year 2024. The Senate Majority Leader issuing an urgent plea to Republican House Speaker Kevin McCarthy Thursday, urging the GOP to come back with a counteroffer to the president's budget proposal. But Republicans argue the president's plan costs too much. The debate continuing as a, a new Fox poll shows 90 percent of voters are worried about inflation. The House adjourned today without producing a budget proposal. They'll be back in two weeks. Also, House Republicans have successfully passed a major energy bill in a 225 to 204 vote, receiving some bipartisan support from four Democrats. While the bill, H.R. 1, is likely to not go far in the Senate, GOP lawmakers say that the legislation would help in lowering energy prices. H.R. 1 accelerates reviews for drilling permits and the construction of pipelines. It also curbs the president's power to restrict fracking. If the legislation fails in the Senate, some GOP uh, members have suggested attaching drilling permits to the debt ceiling later this summer. The president of Taiwan's visit to New York on Thursday is reigniting tensions between the United States and China. U.S. officials are downplaying President Xi Jinping's uh, trip since he will not be meeting with the Biden administration. Now, the president is expected to, to meet with House Speaker Kevin McCarthy in California after her trip from Central America. Now, China sees Taiwan as part of its territory and is threatening retaliation if that meeting does take place. Also, the White House is speaking out after an American journalist was arrested in Russia. Wall Street Journal reporter Evan Gershevich was arrested by Russia's top security service and accused of trying to steal classified secrets for the American government. The Biden administration is condemning those claims. This espionage charges are ridiculous. The targeting of American citizens by Russian government is unacceptable. We condemn the detention of Mr. Gerskovich in the strongest, in the strongest terms. Gerskovich's arrest is the first time an American journalist has been held on espionage charges in Russia since the Cold War. Well, coming up, a dog is paralyzed after ending up on the train tracks in Philadelphia. And now he's found his forever home. We're going to tell you who ended up adopting him. And a killer, a killer whale. That's what we're talking about here. We'll be returning home after spending years at the Miami Seaquarium. We're going to tell you where he'll be living. Claire? All right. Taking a look at our forecast. A little cool to start. I am tracking warmer conditions, but rain is pushing in. I've got to look at the timing of that coming up in just a few minutes. Also coming up this year's mild winter, making for better roads. Drivers are finding fewer potholes, how that's freeing up public works for some other projects.